Everybody can take a picture of the rose in the visible region with a smartphone or camera. It's between 650 and 400 nanometers. But I'm an engineer, I'm a physicist, <laughs> of course I can do better. Uh, today we are going to take a picture of this rose in the 20,000 times higher energies. So visible light is between 1.8 uh, electron volt and uh, 3.1 electron volt. And I will take a, a picture of this rose in the uh, 400,000 uh, electron volts. It's 39 k kV. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this rose, uh, stick on the, on the stepper, we'll rotate it, and we'll, it will shine a, a light, of course that will be the x-rays, and I will get the shadows. Now, with x-rays, uh, because it's, uh, it's still quite low, low energy, uh, m much of the x-rays will be absorbed in this, in this rose, so we will see the internal structure. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to slowly rotate and take sequential photo photographs of this rotation and I will put uh, one, one by one in the, in the fast light show so I'll get a video of the rose rotating. Now this sensor is a monster, it's uh, 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. It's made from the single wafer so it's like uh, cost one or, or, or maybe one and a half kidney, I don't know, but it's quite expensive. I was able to get it uh, much cheaper. So this is the whole, the whole idea why I, I, I'm making this video. I have the sensor it's perfect, it's very large, and it's very high resolution. It's 5 megapixels. So for that, I, ha I made a control board. So this is with Intel FPGAs, so forget Altera. Uh, it's a very simple board. Basically, the whole exercise was to learn FPGAs uh, and um, do just fun stuff. So what we have? We have a USB come in. Now we have USB hub, so this will go to the sensor, this will go to the FTDI. FTDI will convert it into the SPI. SPI will be transferred to FPGA, so I have a register system and I'm controlling uh, steppers and um, steppers, uh, x-rays and so on with this, uh, this, with this board. Uh, it's very simple. It's, it's two ADCs, two DACs, a few, uh, few uh, buffers and that's about it. JTAG, debu debugging connections. And the power supply for this, it's just that. I mean, old one was big, clunky, <laughs> I will show you later, and I was able to fit a complete system into small boards. Now, uh, of course, we we're going to use a Windows tablet or Windows computer. I wrote an application in the Visual Basic and it will communicate with FPGA and sensor at the same time via USB. And um, this is a low noise isolated power supply for the sensor and this is a Hamamatsu largest sensor. It's, it's designed for around 35 kV energy. So it had cadmium, uh, cadmium I, I forget the sensitivity material. But, but basically that will just go. So what I'm going to do, let's take this stepper motor, connect to the one of the um, ST drivers, uh, ST uh, motor drivers, like this. So we will stack it like this. Okay. And I will rotate it. And at the same time, I will take a picture. That sounds simple. Uh, I spent uh, a whole weekend for programming all the system and uh, I spent two weeks, uh, more than two weeks designing and programming electronics. So this is quite uh, quite fun project. Okay, so in this shot you see all the electronics and new electronics. So this is my power supply that I made. Uh, it's just enough for the, this uh, X-ray machine. It's only 20 watts and uh, Faxitron use uh, 500 watts power supply. The supply is so big that you need to load it with a few amps in order to start it. So if you disconnect sensor like a uh, watt sensor, it won't boot. If you disconnect anything, it won't boot. That's, that's just crazy. So I made small power supply for this. And we have a controller. So this is my controller, this is the old controller. So everything uh, you, you see user interface is integrated in my software. And uh, <laughs> this is a design level. So it uses through hole components. And my design uses all SMD components except for micromatch connectors. And that's it. So this is uh, uh, how much smaller I made this design. Okay, so we'll go to the, we'll go to the computer and we'll see a few things about the programs. Okay, so this is a tablet uh, and uh, we we're going to see the uh, user interface. So we have uh, exposure. We have the energy, uh, we have a gradient selection, so we can choose like metal, 
so it's like uh, metal he uh, what metal uh, is um, radiating when heating aqua color basic stuff okay so next is a um, system information so we have like serial number we have what sensor we have firmware version and so on so we have two buttons single and exit and uh, if you press single we will take the single image let's see yep we take the image it changed a bit uh, on the but this is the st stationary okay let's change energy we will go to the lower en energy let's press single as you can see energy is ramping and yeah as you can see much lower en energy much uh, less uh, image data so we basically drag whoa wow that's not nice <laughs> nice noise yeah so we change the the slider and we can change the appearance of the image okay let's wow that's nice so we what we have here we have a automation so basically it will start to rotate and uh, and take, take in the images and here's the histogram so what kind of the image data i have um let's see leasing so yeah it's quite simple interface and uh, it's very easy and you press save uh, it will st uh, save the image so yeah it's very simple very elegant and works on the <laughs> tablet so <laughs> that's kind of nice